You're listening to the Secure Dad Podcast. Discover ways to secure your home, protect your family, and embrace your role as a protector parent. Welcome, friend. I'm Andy Murphy, the creator of the Secure Dad. Happy New Year. I hope that 2023 is going to be a good one for all of us. This podcast serves to help families become proactive in their safety. The information I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only. My goal is to empower you to make safer decisions for yourself and your family. As we start this new year, today we're going to talk about ways we can become resilient and make our family stronger and safer. I'm calling this How to Survive 2023. Plus, I make 10 bold predictions for what we can expect in the coming 12 months. All of that ahead on the Secure Dad Podcast. Later in this episode, you're going to hear me talk about the Secure Dad 2023 Survival Checklist. This is a free download that will go over 23 things that your family can do to be safer this year. And while it does say survival checklist, it's not about, you know, surviving out in the woods. It's about what we can do to make our family safer this year that can be done anywhere. Now, some of these are going to be pretty easy and others are going to take commitment. I provide links for more resources so that you can have a full picture of what you can do to make your family safer this year. I also will be doing this with you, and I will share my progress as I go. Get your copy at the link in today's show notes. Also, later in the show, you're going to hear me talk about getting serious and taking control of your online data. I've been a happy customer of Delete Me for years. In fact, I actually got to sit down and interview Rob Chevelle. He's the co-owner of Abine, which is the founding company for Delete Me. If you're interested in deleting your family's information that is sold by data brokers, then check out Delete Me. There's a link for you today in the show notes. So as we start this new year, I want to share with you 10 bold predictions for 2023. If you remember, I did this last year, and then I followed up on on how good I was at it. And uh, we'll just say this is mostly for fun, but it is meant to get you thinking about a few things. Number 10, there will be a recession in 2023. That's my first bold prediction. It's important to note that the media may not actually say the word recession, but all the characteristics are going to be there. So get your family financially ready today. Number nine. There will be more attacks on local power stations than ever before. These will cause localized blackouts and will potentially be used as part of the plan for greater chaos or even crime. We already saw this at the end of 2022 in the blizzard-like conditions in Washington State. This is already a crime that has seen an uptick, and it's only going to get worse as we go. Now here's a fun one. Number eight, I'm going to call it now. The curse is going to be broken. The Buffalo Bills will win this year's Super Bowl. Josh Allen is going to take that team all the way. I'm not a Bills fan, but they're just a fun team to watch, and I think they're going to do it this year. Number seven, Netflix is going to merge with another streaming service. The price will increase, and the selection will still not be fantastic. Some options may include things like live TV streaming to look more like YouTube TV, But I'm calling it now, Netflix is going to have to merge with somebody else if they're going to survive. Number six, the conflict in Ukraine will end with Russia only having taken part of the country. Russia is going to call it a win, even though we all know it was a colossal failure. Number five, on my bold list of predictions for 2023, the University of Georgia will repeat as national champions in football. Number four. There will be a massive data breach from a national retailer like Home Depot, Target, or Walmart that's going to expose hundreds of thousands of customers' personally identifiable information like addresses, credit card numbers, and purchase histories. So one of these big companies that you would never ever think would have some sort of breach like this is going to have one. And again, it may not be widely covered in the media, but it's going to happen. Number three. The Secure Dad will release another book. Number two, there will be a significant deep fake video that will be used to circulate misinformation and manipulate American opinion. It will divide people worse than we have ever seen before. Many Americans will still choose to believe the video was real even after it was proven fake. The lifespan of the video may only be 24 hours, but it will cause harm 
to a population. My number one bold prediction for 2023 is that TikTok will not be banned. Lawmakers will rattle their sabers all they want, but will cave to social pressure. TikTok will vow to take privacy more seriously. They might even like move their servers around, or they might sell off part of their company, but it will not make any real changes. A few years ago, (laughs) I started off the first podcast in January, and I titled it How to Survive That Year. And that was this kind of sarcastic, tongue-in-cheek title. But as the years go by, I feel like it's less of a joke, and we kind of need to be more focused on what we could do as families to thrive and survive. Maybe it's my age or my perspective, but I think life is getting harder for most families, and we're going to have to do way more for ourselves than we've ever had to do before. Now, I created a free download for you. It was called the Secure Dad 2023 Survival Checklist. And I'm going to go over a few things from that list today on the podcast. I think every family needs to do these things in the coming year to be better prepared and to be safer. Because if your family feels safe, they can feel happy. Don't forget that safety is the foundation of for happiness. That's why I do this show. I don't do this show to cause fear or, you know, to to cause panic. That's that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to provide you with the information that you need as a foundation to make your family happier. That's what the Secure Dad's about. Now, the first task that I have for you in this coming year is to get to know the people around you. That, that seems fairly easy, right? I've actually done an entire podcast on this. And the bottom line is that you need to know who lives within proximity of your family. You don't have to be best friends who play Uno on Thursday nights, but you do need to be on a first-name basis with everyone who lives around you. As you get to know them, you'll learn who you can trust in an emergency. On the flip side, they can learn to trust you to be a good person. You can listen to episode number 101 of the podcast uh, for more information on how to do that. I've encouraged you for a long time now to take a hands-on training course that teaches you how to be harder to kill. This can be a self-defense course, firearms course, or medical training. You pick. All of these things will be absolutely valuable in a critical time in the life of your family. Last year, I got to train in person with Tony Blower, and the year before that, it was three days with Greg and Brian with Arcadia Cognorati. My personal goal this year is to do either a CPR class or a Stop the Bleed class. I feel like it's time for me to do a medical course this year. Next up, Take time to read this year. There are two types of books that I suggest that you make time for. The first is a book on survival. This way you can have some sort of knowledge about what to do when you get stranded or hurt out in the wild. I suggest either 100 Deadly Skills Survival Edition by Clint Emerson or Mother Nature Is Not Trying to Kill You by Rob Nelson. That that book is also good for kids too. Clint's book, eh, not so much. Both of these authors have been on the show, and it's always a good time talking with them. The second type of book is on safety. This can be The Gift of Fear by Gavin DeBecker, which is the industry standard. I highly suggest that everybody read it. You can also check out The Safety Trap by Spencer Corson. Spencer has been on the show, and he brings a lot of experience to his writings. He's always a good guy to talk to. All of these books can be found on Amazon right now, so if you have a gift card burning a hole in your back pocket, this is a good way to use it. Also this year, I want you to run a home security assessment. This is when you take a hard look at the reality of what it would take to break into your home. It may be uncomfortable for you to do this, but we've got to get out of our comfort zone to protect our families, so we've got to be bold. To help you do this, I created the Secure Dad Family Home Security Assessment. This checklist I created gives you tons of details on what to do to improve your property to make it a hard target for a criminal. The cost is only $6. That's it. For less than a fancy cup of coffee, you can make your home safer. There's a link to the download in today's show notes if you're interested. It's gotten fantastic feedback so far. An important topic 
that I got a lot of appreciation for last year was identifying the stages of grooming. If you want to go back and listen to that episode, it's number 205, and it was very difficult for me to do. The reason I think parents should know the stages of grooming is to see those red flag behaviors that groomers exhibit and victims exhibit. If we know what the signs are, then we can act to save our kids, and that is vitally important. Now, the last thing that I'll mention for 2023 is that we need to eat at home more often. I think a lot of us are doing this already with the way that the economy has been going. Dave Ramsey has said that if you can get your dining and grocery expenses in check, everything else in your budget is easy, and I believe him. I and many other people are predicting a recession this year. I already talked about it. Get as much cash as you can to work for you and your family. As a bonus, get your kids to help you cook so they can learn a valuable life skill. In fact, my son got a, it wasn't a kid's cookbook. They titled it a young chef's cookbook, uh, which seemed to get him pretty interested in it. Uh, And he and my wife just last night fixed carrot soup and homemade croutons. And I would have never come up with that meal for my family, but they did it. They had fun, my son learned, and it tasted really good. And I was so proud of him for doing it and seemed to be doing it with relative ease. So get your kids in the kitchen with you, helping out, and then when you think they're ready, see if they can fix a meal for the family with just, you know, little supervision from you to make sure that everything's okay. It's really a win-win, except for doing the dishes afterwards because that's no fun for anybody. Now, these are only a few things that we need to do as a family in 2023 to be safer and happier. Of course, there's going to be more things than what you find on my list, and I encourage you to pursue those. You know your family. You know what they need. Challenge them to get better, stronger, and safer in this new year. That's all that we have for the Secure Dad podcast for today. Thank you, friend, for listening. Don't forget to download your 2023 survival checklist from the Secure Dad. I will also be doing this checklist with you, and I will be updating you regularly on my progress, as I hope you also update me. Get it at the link in today's show notes. Take control of your digital data with Delete Me. Get started today at the link in the show notes. I'm Andy Murphy, and until next time, take care and have a safe, happy new year.